entire elbow recovery. These are mono snorkels, and uh, this is a, uh, a teaching tool, a coaching tool that I find uh, invaluable. Um, not so much with the beginning swimmer, but I find with my intermediate and advanced swimmers that this is really a handy tool for teaching good head position. You know, most of the problems where we have stroke defects in freestyle, they start right here with the head. And I find without having to move the head for breathing, that the mono snorkel really straightens out the pulling pattern. So I'm going to have the kids do a drill that I like to do. And if we're going long course, I can get a lot of kids in one lane. And pretty much what we're going to do is have the workout group all move into this lane. And as I send them off, they're going to go down the center stripe of their lane. When they turn, they're going to go underneath the lane line and come back in the other lane so that I'm teaching them to swim on top of the stripe. What I'm looking for them to do, and once again, we're going back to the colored paddle. I want them to put their fingertips pointing down on the black stripe. I want them to draw a line on the black stripe looking for that face of the colored paddle right away. And I want them to hold that colored background of the paddle against the black background of the stripe on the bottom through their whole pulling paddle. I think you'll probably agree after seeing this that their strokes are going to be looking really good. So let's get ready to do that. So I find that by having them do this drill, they get into the visual part of it where they actually have a target that they can follow. The other thing I like about it is they really have to get into their wall and come off the wall deep enough to get underneath the lane line to come back in the other lane. So you can do this with 10 kids in a lane. If you're running five kids in a lane and using all the lanes, just go to the, uh, every other lane and set up 10 kids in there and go off five seconds apart and you can do tons of 50s on fairly short rest working on that technique. Now that we have their head position and their pull pattern,